Hi everyone, FIFA Career Gems here. Thanks for tuning into my channel today. And recording the footage for this video is possibly the most fun that I've had on FIFA 19 this year. It's a Youth Academy scouting video on how to get the perfect box to box midfielder. And as with any Youth Academy career mode, it really is the best practice if you can afford them to try and appoint three five star experience and five star judgment scouts. When I think of a box-to-box -box midfielder in today's game with bags of energy, I think of Paul Pogba. So we'll send our first scout out to France, and in the player type, we'll put in their playmaker. Playmaker tends to return midfielders who can play in all three central positions. So central midfield, central defensive midfield, and central attacking midfield. We're going to send our second scout out to Germany. Another good box-to-box -box midfielder is Tony Cruz, and we're using Borussia Dortmund, so we'll send our second scout out to Germany and again in the player type will make that playmaker so that is now one scout deployed in France the second scout deployed in Germany I'm gonna send our third scout looking out for the next career mode icon Yori Thielman so we'll send him to Belgium and the player type again will put in their playmaker because as we know that returns all three central positions in midfield which is exactly what we're looking for in a box-to-box -box midfielder so that is now all three scouts deployed to top European countries. And if you've noticed there, I've made all the scout reports come back on different days. I'll explain why in a second. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna sim forward to the day before the first scout report is due to drop and I'm gonna save my game at this point. What this does and the reason for making the scout reports return on different days, if you save your game at this point and the scout returns some terrible players, you just drop back on the save. If you spread the days out for when the scout reports are returning, you've not gotta disregard all three of the scout reports. You can pick and choose the best players as you go through. So the first scout report has now returned. Let's see if he's unearthed any gems in France. The first place potential is way too low, so we'll reject him straight away. Likewise with the second player. Third player is Julian Lacan, 17 years of age, so we can promote him straight away. Good overall between 52 and 72, and a good potential of 67 to 93. So he's a player we'll definitely add to the Youth Academy. Even though this guy's age is good, stamina looks very good as well, his potential worries me a little bit. can only achieve an exciting prospect at maximum, so we'll probably reject him at some point. This guy looks pretty good. Overall might be a bit low between 51 and 69, but potential looks 79 to 94. Also looks quite good. This guy's potential way too low, so I'll reject him straight away. But two players I'm going to promote to the Youth Academy to have a look at in more detail is Julian Leconte and Arthur Aubert. And don't forget, in this video, we're looking for a box-to-box -box midfielder, a central midfielder, central defensive midfielder, or central attacking midfielder, or preferably someone that can play a couple of those positions. And Arthur Aubert, sadly, is a right midfielder. He's not what we're looking for in this video. Even though his overall was pretty good, we've disregarded him straight away. But Julian Lecon is a different story. Central midfielder, 17 years of age, 65 start rating, no-brainer, promoted him to the senior squad. So now in the squad hub, we can look at Julien Leconte in more detail. We can see his potential status, like showing great potential or exciting prospect. We can see his weak foot and skill moves. We can also see his work rate. So let's scroll down and find Julien Leconte. And the first thing you can see is showing great potential, which is not bad. We can use a potential long glitch to increase that even further. He can play central midfield or central defensive midfield. He's got medium and medium work rates with three star skills and a four star weak foot and pretty good stamina rating. He really is looking like he could be a great box to box midfielder. But because he's only showing great potential, we'll stick him on the long list and hope we can do that potential long glitch to increase that up to exciting prospect. So now it's time for the second scout report. Let's see if we've had any luck in Germany. The first player's potential is way too low, so we'll reject him straight away. Daniel Richter, 17 years of age, overall 55 to 75. Looks like he could play central midfield. Potential of 78 to 94. Looks like he could be a decent player. We'll definitely put him through to the Youth Academy. Oliver Fischer, potential could be as high as 94. Good stamina rating, 17 years of age. Overall might be a little bit low, but we'll have a look at him in more detail. Those like next two will disregard. And finally, Tobias Schmitz. Overall, 55 to 73. Potential 73 to 94. Again, we'll look at him in more detail in the Youth Academy. So, fingers crossed, all those three are going to be midfield players. Let's have a look in the Youth Academy. And Daniel Richter, you can see there, is a central midfielder. Oliver Fischer is a central attacking midfielder. And Tobias Schmitz is a central midfielder. So, hopefully, one of these three will be an absolute B. So, Tobias Schmitz has got a good stamina rating, which is what you need for a box to box midfielder. Likewise, with Oliver Fischer. Daniel Richter looks the best of the bunch with a 64 star rating. So, let's promote the ones that have got 60 rated through to the senior team. So, that's Tobias Schmitz and Daniel Richter. Oliver Fischer, still not 60 rated, so we'll have to train him up 
to get that 60 rated so we can see his potential status in the squad hub so now let's scroll back through to the squad hub and have a look at these players in more detail so I've just sorted my players out into overall descending order and the first of the new players there is Tobias Schmitz he's 16 years of age he can play anywhere in the central midfield positions and he's showing great potential so we'll stick him on the long list in hope that we can get the potential long glitch to work and increase that up to exciting prospect but Daniel Richter he has potential to be special meaning his potential will achieve 91 plus he's 17 years of age he's got medium and high work rates three star three star he can play central midfield or central attacking midfield he's got good stamina rating which is what you need for a box-to-box -box midfielder this kid so far is the best player we've unearthed from the Youth Academy. And I'll just say what you're all thinking. The next time you see any of these players, it will be edited with new boots and their shirts will be untucked. So now it's time to move on to the third and final scout report. Let's see if we've found any gems in Belgium. And straight away there, Victor de Klerk, 17 years of age, a good overall rating of 59 to 79. Potential rating of 82 to 94. Good stamina for a box to box midfielder. It looks like he can play in a central midfield role. So we'll definitely promote him through to the Youth Academy. Sadly, the other four either overall or potentials too low so they were disregarded but looking at the clerk he could well rival daniel richter as the best player in this career mode so we'll now scroll through to the youth academy and have a look at the clerk in more detail hopefully he fits the bill as a box-to-box -box central midfield and there you can see his primary position is central midfield potential rating massive of 82 to 94 decent start rating of 66 so promote him through to the senior team and have a look at his work rates weak foot level and most importantly that potential status so into the squad hub and we'll sort our players out in descending overall order and scroll through down to find Leclerc. We'll see the other players are promoted as well like Tobias Schmitz, a potential to be special Daniel Richter, Leconte is in there as well who's showing great potential and on the loan list. But there's the clerk has potential to be special meaning his potential will achieve 91 plus he can play central midfield or central defensive midfield he's 17 years of age with three star skills and a five star weak foot with high attacking and high defensive work rates decent stamina rating so he could again be a perfect box-to-box -box midfielder for this career mode only thing that remains to do with Victor de Klerk now is to give him some new boots, untuck his shirt and maybe pull his socks down a bit. So now it's time to move on to the players that I managed to loan out. And the first one is Tobias Schmitz who was out on loan at Tondela. Before his loan his status was showing great potential. It's now increased up to an exciting prospect meaning now his potential will achieve at least 86. And I'm pretty impressed with Tobias Schmitz. He can play anywhere in the central midfield role. He's got some new boots and he's now an exciting prospect. So now we move on to Julien Leconte, who's out on loan in France. Before his loan, his status was showing great potential. So let's recall him from his loan. That's now gone up to an exciting prospect, meaning minimum he's going to achieve an 86 potential. He's also had some new boots and had his shirt untucked. So that is both of our players who were at the beginning showing great potential now increased up to an exciting prospect. Victor Leclerc also has got some new boots. Obviously he's the best player so he's got gold. Also had his shirt untucked. Leconte there you can see is now an exciting prospect. Daniel Richter has potential to be special. New boots, shirt untucked. And Tobias Schmitz who was showing great potential now is also an exciting prospect. Oliver Fisher finally achieved the 60 rated to see his potential status, which was showing great potential. So he stuck him out on loan in the MLS, recalled him from Portland. And his potential status is now an exciting prospect. He can play central attacking midfield or central midfield. 18 years of age, and he's also now an exciting prospect. Rather than end the video there, I decided to sim a few seasons and show you how these players progress. So here we've got... Oliver Fisher, he's now 25 years of age and a massive 84 rated. Let's have a look at his attributes. He's got a 4 star, 4 star. Great stamina rating, so he makes a perfect box to box midfielder. Excellent growth, excellent attributes, and that's Oliver Fisher. Next up, we have the youngest of the five players, and that's Tobias Schmitz, who's still only 23 years of age. He can play central midfield, central attacking midfield, or central defensive midfield. He's had good growth, and he's got up to 81 rated. But my favourite player of all the five of them to use in-game is no doubt Julien Leconte. Who at 25 years of age got all the way up to 86 rated. And that is all natural growth. There was no training for any of these players at any point when making this video. His stamina got all the way up to a massive rating. Meaning he could get up and down the field in no time at all with very good pace. Very good box-to-box -box midfielder and a great success story of this video. 
Daniel Richter is now one of the world's best at this point in career mode. 90 rated at 25 years of age. And again, that is all natural growth. No training involved in any of these players in this video. He's got a good stamina rating, meaning he's a perfect box-to-box -box midfielder and can get up and down the field with absolute ease. 90 rated, one of the world's best, Daniel Richter. But I did say when we unearthed this gem from Belgium, Victor de Klerk, a massive 92 rating, natural growth, no training. Obviously, he's one of the world's best. Five-star weak foot. Again, he's got excellent stamina to get up and down the field. Good pace. Scores some good goals. He really has turned into the perfect box-to-box -box midfielder. And at 92 rated, one of the world's best makes this video worthwhile so they can see the reason why I had so much fun making this video at finding the perfect box to box midfielder using your youth academy so all that remains to say is thank you for watching tune in next time fcg out